Hello, and welcome to a presentation on Frida Kahlo, a Mexican-American woman artist and activist who depicted her disabilities through her art. In this presentation, I will be explaining to you who Frida Kahlo was, what she did for the Mexican community, what she did for the disabled community, and the impact she left on the art community. Frida Kahlo was a disabled Mexican woman artist who depicted her life living with disabilities through her art. She was a great feminist icon, great representation for disabled people, and was actually openly bisexual. The themes she included in her art usually had to do with her identity, the human body, and graphic depictions of death. She was also well known for her self-portraits and her use of bold colors. Frida Kahlo was born July 6, 1907 in Coyoacan, Mexico City, Mexico. Her father was a German immigrant who migrated to Mexico, where he met Frida's mother, Matilda, who was half Amerindian and half Spanish. By the time she was six, Frida had very poor health and was diagnosed with polio. She had to be bedridden for nine months and the polio um, had her leg, her left leg, become a lot more thinner than her right one. Frida was able to recover from polio, but this still left the impact on her. Her left leg was noticeably much thinner than her right one, but her father encouraged her to play sports in order to hide it, but she simply ended up using long skirts to hide it. When she was a teenager, Frida was in a tragic bus accident in which she, the bus crashed into a streetcar. A handrail flew and impaled Frida through her hip and went out to the other side. This would severely damage her spine and pelvis and she was sent to the Red Cross Hospital in Mexico City where she stayed for several weeks before she was sent back home in a full body cast. To cope with her pain and boredom, Frida picked up painting and with the special easel her parents made for her, she was able to finish one of her first self-portraits. After marrying and traveling with husband Diego Rivera in 1928, Frida met Andre Breton in 1938. Andre was one of the primary figures of the Surrealism movement. Andre told Frida that she had a surrealist style, but Frida really never labeled herself until Andre told her, saying she was just expressing herself the most she could. This same year, Frida held an exhibition in New York City Gallery and sold some paintings and even was able to collect two commissions, one of those commissions being the suicide of Dorothy. Frida was invited to Paris by Andre Breton, where she met big names like Mark Chagall, Piet Mondrian, and Pablo Picasso. After divorcing her husband Diego Rivera, Frida painted the picture you see behind you titled The Two Fridas. The picture depicts two different Fridas, one with a broken heart and more traditionally dressed, the other more independent with more modernly dressed clothes. Frida would later admit this painting expressed her desperation and loneliness with the separation from her husband, Diego. Frida and Diego separated due to their unfaithfulness for each other, but they remarried two years later in 1940. The affairs continued, but it didn't seem like it bothered them that much. Frida had affairs with women and men, including renowned movie actresses Dolores Del Rio, Paulette Godard, and Maria Felix. Frida received commissions from the government to paint important women, but she was unable to do it as her father passed away that same time. And she was also suffering from several other sicknesses. Again, to cope with her sicknesses and illness, Frida got to painting The Broken Column in 1944. In this painting, she depicts herself split down the middle, with her spine being a broken column. A surgical brace wraps around her body and nails are pinned throughout her own body, indicating the constant pain she is in. During this time, Frida had gone through many challenges and surgeries. 
She had to wear a brace to protect her spine, and the treatment she received to treat her illnesses did not work. However, despite her slowly worsening health, Frida was still very active in a, the political movement. She showed up at the demonstration against U.S.-backed overthrow of President Jacob Arbenz of Guatemala on July 2nd. This would be her last public appearance. About one week after her 47th birthday, Frida passed away at her beloved Blue, 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 <clears throat> Blue House. Frida Kahlo's fame continued to grow even after her death, and her Blue House was opened as a museum in the year of 1958. In the 1970s, the interest in her work and life was renewed due to the feminist movement since she was viewed as an icon of female creativity. Frida Kahlo faced her disabilities and turned them into beautiful pieces of art and refused to let them hinder her passion.